The situation in Rockingham County as far as economics and education is very challenging with the decline in tobacco, uh, textiles, furniture. Uh, we've had a lot of struggles for the last 25 years probably. Most of my students are first generation graduate from high school. So the fact to go to college is still up there in the clouds. One of the things that we've done to try to correct the educational situation is we've gotten a program called the Carolina College Advising Corps going. Nice to meet you. Thank you. We're excited to have Chancellor Folt here in Reedsville today because it gives us an opportunity to celebrate. We are now about 10% higher than the, uh, our peer high schools in college going rates and that's directly attributable to the Advising Corps program. The Carolina College Advising Corps is a public service organization where we hire recent graduates from Carolina to work as college advisors throughout the state. Um, our target uh, student population is first generation, low income, underrepresented students. We're trying to help students as they navigate the college application and financial aid processes. I feel very privileged to talk to you today. Chancellor Folk coming to speak at Reesville High School definitely opened a lot of doors for my students in a way that other things wouldn't have because these students now understand that UNC Chapel Hill is not some kind of big scary idea and in a larger sense college, universities, they're not some big scary idea because the unknown is scary. When I went to college I had to work. I worked as a waitress. My first job was in the Big Belly Deli. <laughs> great place, but, but I actually loved that. It was, it, it was a very good way for me to be able to have some flexibility and, and be able to put myself in college. Before I went to UC Santa Barbara, I actually went to the community college in Santa Barbara. I had moved from Ohio. I needed to get my residency and I needed to save some money. So I started by going to a community college. It turned out for me to be a wonderful decision because it gave me an opportunity to get used to taking classes. It's a really big deal for someone like Chancellor Fultz to come and speak to us because it's something that doesn't happen every day. And I feel like everybody here just got a little bit of her energy and want to like strive for more. When you're from a small community in a small school, you don't really think that you have a lot of opportunities out there. She believed in us. She gave me inspiration to want to do more and achieve more. I learned that I can, if I really set my mind to things, then I could really go for it and I could really reach things like she did.